You know, every, every morning my mom, she used to wake up in, in my room at 6.30 in the morning and she knocked my door down at 6.30. <coughs> and be like, Blake, you have a disability. And I'm like, mom, relax at 6.30. Can you chill for a second? But then she will follow up and say, but you have a thousand other abilities that make you a special person. You have a thousand other abilities that allow you to go out there. You know, I, and, and I, I tell people, you know, we have our hard days. We have our difficult days. We can wake up in the morning, we can pour a cup of coffee, and, and, and we, we can start talking about maybe complaining or, or and, 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 and expressing ourselves how hard this is. And oh, woe is me. And you know, this, you know, to be honest with you, this, what we're going through isn't really fair. But what I realized throughout my life that when I wake up in the day and I start complaining and and start worrying about all the things that's not done right to me by the time the sun is rising. And by the time it'll be sun be setting, guess what? I still be sitting there complaining. What have I done? Who have I helped? So for me, I decided I had to wake up each and every day with motivation and inspiration to, to accept my 10% to say, you know what? It's not going to be easy. You know what? It, it is going to be hard. This is who I am as an individual. I am missing my legs. But that doesn't define who I am as an individual. I still have 90% to show the world what I truly can do. I still have a thousand other abilities that I can offer out into this universe, to the rest of the world, put a smile on my face. Yes, this is my 10%. Yes, this is hard. But this is not who I am as an individual. I have so many other abilities that I can give out into this world. Now, I'm not going to stand up here, especially in front of you guys, and say, look, I... I figured it out. I got it. I got it. You stick together as a family. You stick together as a unit. You keep a, you keep a positive attitude. Life is sweet. <laughs> we don't have no issues, no problems. But the reality of it is what we all know sitting in here today is that's not true. And we also know that sometimes when, 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 when it rains, what does it do? It pours. It pours. I think it's hard. I think it's harder. I think it's harder. I remember a time I was, I was playing t-ball. I was, I was just a little boy. And this, this one t-ball season, I, I wanted to hit a home run, right? The reason why I wanted to hit a home run was I, I was the only disabled child on the team, so I, I wanted to, my teammates to cheer for me. I wanted them to, to yell for me. I wanted to be part of them. I, and, and also, my, my dad was a third base coach, so he could like protect me, and make sure I had the proper opportunities. And so you have to understand, they, they told me that I never, play sports, but they told him that I, that I would never play sports. So if I could hit this home run, like, we together would show them how wrong we were. And I, I, I remember like it was yesterday, I, I, I go up to the plate, and I, I, I take my three practice swings, right? One, two, no, and on, on the third swing, I hit the ball as far as I can. The, the, the ball just starts flying in the air so high, I forget to run. So I'm just standing there like, wow, that's a, that's a good little ball right there. But then, but then my, my, my teammates are yelling at me like, run, Blake, run. So 